Hey everyone, Soundwave884 Country with another upgrade review. In this review, I'm taking a look at Nonf Productions upgrades for your Studio Series 86 Leader Class Grimlock. And I want you to get and the complete. I got the complete set. Okay, you can buy just the sword, and I believe the chest piece separate. Um, if you wanted that, and the sword comes in different uh, varieties of color, and I'll get over that in a minute. But I got the complete set. Now, some things I don't really need. But I'd have bought the complete set anyway. But first, we're going to show you this. This is straight on is your 86 Grimlock. Now, one thing I did not like is how dark that is on his chest. It really hides the Autobot you know, symbol underneath. So you can't really see it until certain lights hit it. So what I've already done is removed that piece like this. It's just two screws to hold it in. And the look you get just removing that is this, which I like. Now you do have these holes right here where the screws come in. But honestly, you kind of see that here with these dark circles anyway. So I actually love this look of the chest already. But with non-F, you do get a clear piece. It's slightly, tra you know, it's translucent, but it's just still going to slightly hide it. And what you're going to do is just these two little pegs here. You will just press that in the gap. So I'm just going to show this off uh, real fast. Helps if I align it up perfectly and push it in perfectly. I've already done this once with this because it's going to give me problems because I'm actually doing this on camera. You know, you do this by yourself. You practice this stuff before you actually get behind the camera and then it all works perfectly. There we go. When you do it on camera, it, it doesn't want to work perfectly for you. And that's the look you get with the clear piece. So and if you like that look, it's there. But this is the straight out of the box look. This is a look with non-F's chest piece, which just fits right in. And to remove it all, I'll show that off real fast. Like I said, it's very simple. You'll just take his chest piece here. And then um, like bring it down, flip it over. There's two screws that are right there. You'll just remove those with a small uh, screwdriver. Those take those out, and that piece comes right off. You know, no problem. So you can put this piece on from non-F if you get it, and this is the look you're getting. And if you don't want that piece, you can just take it out, and this is the look you have. So if you have Grimlock and you're just worried about that piece, you can take that right off, and that's the look you get, just removing the two screws in the dark tinted piece. Now, the other things you get from non-F, uh, like I said, you get a sword. You can get it in red and in orange. I got the red with the red hilt. You can get orange with a black hilt. I think you can mix, mix match the hilt scene. I think you can get black with the red. I'm not positive on that. You can go to their website and see. I'll link all this down in the description below. And I think I went with red because that's more uh, toy accurate. And all you're going to do here is just join this, these little pegs and stuff. You're just going to press all this into these little holes. So. Like that, take the opposite side, and you're just going to do the same here. And then you're going to take that, and you have his sword, and it is kind of firm fit. You might have to uh, sand down some um, pieces and stuff to get a you know a perfect fit, like this isn't going down. But you got these sprues and stuff, you're going to have to sand down to get the perfect fit. All right, so a little bit of sanding down. I've now got these to where they fit flush. Bring your Grimlock in and just have him hold the sword. So there is Grimlock holding his sword. Not bad. So I got, like I said, I got the straight red. You can get orange with the black hilt. All right, so another thing you get from non-F, you do get a crown. So you take the crown off. It just easily fits right on top of his head. Very simple. It just sits there, removable. You know, it's however you want to have it. There's two sides. One side fits further down than the other, so always make sure you get it on the right side now another thing with not if you get you get these uh forearm panels so if you don't like the look of seeing this big hollow gap what you can do now is you take a screw out <laughs> right here and you'll slide the panel inside right here and it will then hide the gap all right, so all you want to do is remove the top screw here. And you're going to take your forearm panel, you're going to put it over that, and you're going to put the screw back in. You do not want to over-tighten that, but you're going to put this right here. Take your screw, and we're going to put it right in there, and then we'll just have to re-screw uh, re that in real quick. There we go. I did not over tighten. I uh, just did enough to where it holds. And I guess your whole point of this is now you can, uh, 
I guess I need, may I need to loosen that just a bit. May I put it a bit too tight? I didn't actually over tighten it, but I just did a little bit. A little loosen the, but yeah, it's too loose. Okay. Well, how am I supposed to transform a thar? We'll just retighten slightly again. It's still a little loose. Slightly again. Okay. There we go. So we'll just now. I guess when you want to transform Grimlock, you just will just raise this up so you can fold the hand in. All right, so here is Robot Mode Grimlock with all the upgrades from non-F for the Robot Mode. We have the new sword, we have the crown, the new chest plate, and we have the form panels. Now, the gray is not a perfect match. The gray panels are a little bit darker. But honestly, because they're on the inside, they kind of hit the shadows, and it, much, it looks pretty close, and it doesn't, look, it doesn't stand out that bad. So we'll just do a quick comparison showing you off what we have now what we had before this is the grimlock straight out the box this is the grimlock in robot mode with the non-f upgrades you can see the new uh panels here to help hide the hollow gap which can still be used for transformation because you can just rotate them up do not over tighten but do not leave them too loose because then they're just floppy we have a sword for grimlock people complained that he didn't come with the sword he came with wheelie uh, that's because it's based on the movie in the movie wheelie rode around on him like he's a freaking horse he has his crown which he didn't have in the movie so eh you could have just threw a sword in, took Willie out then. And then you have the transparent, uh, translucent uh, chess piece here. So you can actually see the Autobot logo. Now he does come with other stuff for in uh, dinosaur mode. Dino mode, he has some top teeth. So he has some teeth in the front and some bottom teeth. So he has some teeth on the bottom. And he also comes with these little filler pieces to hide the screw as well uh screws won't really bother me we'll transform him into dino mode and we'll take a look at the other upgrades all right so here's the grimlock comparison in dino mode this is one that's untouched this one has non-f upgrades on it so far you can tell by right here this is dark this is translucent you can see the uh covers here where he's hollow or not hollow now the fist are in there but this helps hide it and give it a more uh you know solid gray look down there so that's the upgrade so far you can still see now what they give you now is top and bottom teeth for the mouth as you can see there's like someone just like punched a hole there and he's got nothing there uh, so it, it looks awkward, I guess you can say, from the front. But, you know, from the side, I don't even really notice it. I guess it maybe it's for when you put a blast effect in there. But I think when you open his mouth wide enough, you know, I think that's going to miss the teeth. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply the teeth. And they're going to be, I guess, a little more bothersome. You got it. They send you a glue dot to help uh, apply the bottom teeth because they have to fit in there and be glued on the top teeth. Actually, when you take the head apart, we'll just be hooked on by the bar up here. So let's go ahead. What we're going to do now is we're going to have to take the two screws out of the head here. So we'll take this one out. So I can try and pull a booger out the side of his nose. Come on, Grimlock. I thought I had it all the way out. Apparently, he's latched on. Removing Grimlock's head. Ugh. Me, Grimlock, don't like this. No. Oh, there's part of his head. There's the bottom jaw. All right, for the top teeth, it's very simple. They have this little hook right here. And you're just going to slide them in over that and it's going to fill out like that so when you reapply the rest of his face it's just going to you know get caught right there so it will not come out now the harder part is going to be the bottom teeth they have to go into this jaw bit so you know you can put it in there but there's nothing holding it in so they will eventually just fall out pretty easily and you don't want to lose them so let's go ahead and move the camera down because i'm kind of i was high up for him in robot mode but there are glue dots right here oh it's already starting to come off so we're going to remove the white paper and then we're going to take the bottom part of this and we're going to apply it to the glue dot so let's do that So we'll push that glue dot on 
and then we're going to now apply it to the boss remove the clear wrap so the glue dot is now stuck on the bottom of the teeth and we're just going to now apply this into here and we're going to push that down so i can't really get my finger i'm gonna use the bottom of this screwdriver so i'm just going to push not too hard just enough to try to get that to really stick to the bottom of the jaw stay 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 So this is hopefully going to, one, two, three, four, let's count to 30, uh, to hold the teeth in. So now you'll have some top chompers and some bottom chompers. Because he was all he was wanting for Christmas was his four front teeth. Four front teeth. Alright, so hold that in. So we're just going to reapply the head. So after you got those in, you're just going to take this piece here, a little hole, you're just going to put it back in. And then you're going to take the other half of his head and you're just going to line it all back up and it's just going to close back up like this. So you know you got them all flush. You just want to take your screws and we'll take this and stick it right back in his nose. Get back in there. So, you know, it helps if you lay them this way so the screw doesn't constantly fall out. And we're going to just screw that back in. Now, you don't ever want to really overly tighten any of these screws. You want it tight enough so things aren't loose and floppy. But uh, you don't want to over tighten because then you'll crack the plastic. You also could strip your screws and then you'll never be able to unscrew if you need to. Oh, yeah, I guess you can. There's hacks for that, but it'll just be harder. Right, there we go. And there is Grimlock. Now he has some front chompers. Nice. I like it a lot. Dig the look. I mean, you can tell if you look hard enough that they didn't come on him you know, out of the package. But just glancing at it, you just think he, you know, that's the way he should be. You wouldn't think you actually added anything to him. So we'll just show some comparisons here. We'll just close his mouth. And this is how he looks. You're viewing left. Straight out of the package, you're viewing right, non-F teeth upgrades. I think that makes a world of difference, the upgrades. It actually, you know, makes it look right. This just looks weird and funky. Straight on. It's inside, it's not bad. But straight on, this is a good look for Grimlock. Let's we'll open his mouth back up. And we'll just put that right back on. Okay, so other things you get. For the dino mode, you get these little uh, screw uh, covers. You get two gold ones. Uh, the point is to shove it in here and hide it. Now, they say on their site that these fit loose. You'll have to use, like, floor polish or sticky tack to really give them the stick. You know, it just goes right in there. They are very loose. Um, honestly, that doesn't bother me. Like, I guess it bothers some people. You get two of those. I'm trying to think where the second one goes because there's not one on the other side. But you get the one... Uh, unless there's a hole somewhere else uh, you could plug it into. Uh, then you get the gray ones for the actual head. I know a lot of people do not like the screw spots there. You get a really short one, which goes up here by the nose. And it's lost forever. Well, that shits. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got a second one for the bigger hole. The bigger one here goes back here. So we'll go ahead and stick that one in real quick. Uh, they are loose too. Um, not as loose. If I can find that one, but you can see the effect you're getting. Uh, I should never have dropped it. I should have just shoved it straight in his head instead of trying to show it off. But now it's lost to the... It's so tiny. Damn it. I have dandruff bigger than that. Give me a second. Well, that sucks. So I dropped it and it is so small. I have no earthly idea where it has gone to. It went to where you lose the socks in the dryer. I don't know if it just, I mean, ah, I'm so clumsy. Hold on, let me check around in here. No. Well, I wanted to show you it all, but my uh, clumsy self just, uh, Ruin that. So I guess you get a good laugh in this video. Dude, hey, you dropped it. And uh, stuff. So yeah. There's that. It's probably on the floor somewhere. So yeah. 
All right. But you get the effect. It's going to be like that. And I, I kind of wish I had it now to plug in the account. I think it just looks awkward. But, yeah. Maybe I'll come across it one day. And if I do, I'll post a picture on my Instagram. But you can follow me at Soundwave underscore 8084 underscore reviews. Also on fa Facebook. Facebook. On Facebook. On Facebook at Soundwave884. Say at Twitter, Soundwave884. So like I said, if I find it, I'll post a picture. But you can, get, you can see the effect they're going for. So thanks for watching this non if review. It is an amazing upgrade. Um, what you're going to get out of this. You get a nice sword. You get some panel covers. You get a new teeth, which really make a world of difference. You get a crown. Uh, it is a really cool set. And I want to say thank you to non if for making some upgrades for Transformers that they, you know, stuff they should have came with right off the bat. Uh, so. Pretty cool. Uh, I like it. I do recommend this set. Like I said, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next one. Peace out.